Today, Costain Group PLC report results for the year ended 31st of December 2012. I'm joined today by Chief Executive Andrew Wiley and Finance Director Tony Bickerstaff to discuss the key points in today's announcement. Good morning, Andrew. Tony, thank you for joining me. How has the year been for Costain? We've had another very strong performance in the Costain Group. Our profit before tax up 16%. A good high quality long term order book, £2.4 billion. Pounds. Our customers coming back to us at record levels. Over 90% of that order book is repeat order. And for our shareholders, a 7.5% increase in the dividend. The sixth year on the row that Costain has increased the dividend. All in all, a very strong performance. Revenues and net cash are down, however. What does that say about where Costain are today? We're implementing a very clear strategy in Costain. And a very important ingredient in that strategy is focusing on profitability and the margin. We're changing our customer base, changing the mix of work that we do. And therefore, that's impacting naturally on our revenue and our cash position. But it's a del very deliberate focus based on our strategy. You've previously said that you want to move towards becoming more of a support services company. In these economic conditions, how's that working? What we're doing is focusing on a number of the customers and offering a much broader range of skills and capabilities to those customers. And I think that's paying off in terms of this marketplace. Because in 2012, 29% of our activity was a support services related activity, bang in line with our strategy. You talk about differentiating Costain and engineering tomorrow. That all sounds very nice, but it doesn't drive financial performance, does it? Well, I, I would disagree. And I think it is hugely important that we do differentiate costing. Engineering goes to the very heart of the costing business. It's in our DNA. Engineering tomorrow is all about the identification, the development and the delivery of solutions to some very complex needs that our customers have, whether it be filling the energy gap or whether it be providing a 21st century infrastructure. At Costain, we invest in R&D, we invest in engineering, whether it be uh, graphite gasification, or whether it be asset management technology in the rail and, and highway sectors. We have to drive those new attributes into our product, provide value for money, provide that engineering excellence. And if we do that, our customers come back and that leads to increased profits. Given what some of your peer group are saying, why are you not concerned about the outlook for Costain? It's our job to focus on the future for the business, particularly in these market conditions in which we operate. And one of the very important trends for the future that we see is our customers are demanding more and more in skills and capabilities from their suppliers. And they're actually working with fewer suppliers. So we have to continue to develop the group. We have to continue to invest both organically and by acquisition in our skills and capabilities. One of our key metrics is our order book. And I'm pleased to be reporting an increase in our order book for 2013 compared to last year. You've increased the dividend again. Would it not be better to reinvest that money in growing the business? Well, we think it's important that we increase the dividend because our shareholders are clearly very important to us. But we are also increasing the amount of money we're investing in the business. We have to do that to make sure that our customers who are increasingly looking for costing to provide a much more integrated uh, product from consulting through project delivery, through operations and maintenance. They're looking to work with fewer big tier one organisations like us, and we've got to invest in growing that business and in providing that technology to continue to grow the, two, the dividend stream. The two things are absolutely connected in my mind. Costain Group PLC Chief Executive Andrew Wiley and Finance Director Tony Bickerstaff, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.